What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with more free rent beyond Journey's End. Super excited for today's episodes. We're doing nine and ten today. Remember, if you guys want to watch these uncut, full, unedited, check out the Patreon. Links are down below, like always. We are watching this live on Twitch as well. Come over, it's a vibe. Follow all the social medias if you can. Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe, obviously. Not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's hop right into today's episodes. Free run episodes nine and ten. Let's do it. All right, this is episode nine, exactly where we left off. Lugner was remembering it was free run. And slew more demons than anyone else in history. Free run the Slayer is a nickname amongst demons. That's crazy. Got out Stark and Fern for saving Mr. Granat. Her instincts were right on point with trying to deal with them right there. Her name is legendary. You would obviously recognize that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can apologize for it later. Shout out, shout out. During my grandfather's rule, they were the ones who drove them off. Oh, I love the way they're animating this undead army of just headless knights. Aura. Ooh. Oh, these shots are incredible. Great dodge. This animation is going insane. She literally holds the scales and they're tipped in her favor. Mm. I love the concept of human magic versus demon magic. I agree with that as well. They're all slain warriors that were gonna fight Aura. That is the Granat family crest, right? Was that his son? Respect. Scales of obedience. Interesting. 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 Well, and her man, her man is just insane compared to your average human, you know? Wow. That is a, a scales of obedience. That's a powerful magic. It's a risky spell, but that's, yeah. If someone out manas her, she's going to be controlled. Okay, okay. Five hundred years she's been a sage of destruction. Animation is going crazy right now. How are we gonna stop her army and her? Anything Free Run does always amazes me. She make the darkness from them wither away? She's, she's since changed as a person since. Mm-hmm, understandable. No more Himmel here to scold her and be empathetic. She is freer than the savage. Even the animation of him putting on clothes looks amazing. Okay, my man steeled his resolve. No more shaking, trembling from him. 
Come on, Stark. Respect. Respect. That's the Stark response right there. That's not what Fern was expecting. This is the Stark we know. That's hilarious. Not Ferns, we know that. Yes, smart thinking Fern. Able to put it together. As a mage, she... Oh, they are fast as all hell. Not the... Oh my... I was not expecting Linny to have an axe. That was a great block from Stark, but holy shit, this is going off out of nowhere. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, that boy's about to whoop Lenny's ass. Oh, that's interesting. He's using the force. Like we're in Star Wars, get that staff back. Oh, Fern, you gotta just take him out. Mm hmm, that's some great deduction skills right there. He's about to prove you wrong. I hope they win their fights. We see Fern versus Lugner, Linny versus Stark, and Freeman versus Aura. That's gonna be a fight. Both not lying. That was fast as all hell. You can fire off her spells faster than Freewin herself. <laughs> okay, Fern. We cut over to this fight. Oh, this episode is already going crazy. What specifically is her mat? Oh, damn. Stark said that's Aizen's technique. Oh, this animation is going crazy with these shots. With the music. Great defensive barrier. Oh my god, as it can interludes into the blood itself. Oh my god, these shots are incredible. Yet somehow she is. Oh, I love how she wasn't even looking with the flip of her staff right there. <laughs> oh, this is so hype. He's starting to literally sweat. A battle of attrition will not work with a girl this fast. Oh my god. These episodes are going crazy. Ooh. Ooh, great dodge, but great reaction from her. Interesting. So she can call on different fighting styles and techniques based off the, the memories and the mana she's reading. Oh, that 
her versatility and her arsenal is insane. From the axe to the sword to the spear. Oh my god. Great dodge. She was there during that fight. Memorized. She was a child. Oh, that's insane. Fate is an interesting thing. But Aizen himself once said he's scared of Stark by how powerful he is, you know? God damn. I love how she doesn't make any faces at all. She's so stone cold blooded when she fights. I actually really like her magic a lot. Perfect time for a flashback. It was a great transition. True. What secret would that be? Not about how many times you fall, it's about how many times you get back up. I like that. I, I love how I love that from Aizen. I love how simple it is, you know. Get up, keep hitting her. As long as you don't stay down, you will eventually win. You and your weird logic. They handle flashbacks like that, and the demon one with free run with the child so well. They insert them at the perfect time. Yeah, you're literally a poor imitation of him. Erfasen. Utare. In the nighttime, too. Oh my god, that shot is amazing. It's like fireworks bursting in the sky. Oh my god. He's gonna tank that on purpose. To leave an opening for you. Beautifully handled. Just like that. Stark B. Linny. You're on your own, Lugner. And you should not be distracted even for a second. Oh my god. Bro, this show is insane. To go from One Piece goatness to this. Oh, I'm having a stream right here. All right, this is episode 10. I'm still a little shook from last episode, but is this another flashback with Flame? <laughs> I love the look of Flame too. She's gorgeous. I love her long orange hair. Assault's last words. Of the creatures I call demons. I love how influential she was in the world, just in general. I respect it. You gotta fight fire with fire sometimes. Alright, episode 10. A powerful mage. I'm assuming we're talking about Freerun. That boy got tojied. I'm curious how this is going to go. I do enjoy that Flame flashback, how they said they fight unfair against demons, so... It's an honor shield taken if it means eradicating demon kind. I love that! What? Hey, fighting unfair against demons, you know. What is he noticing that they're doing? Way to put him out of his misery. But they use a number of spells, but it doesn't lower their mana count? Oh, wow. An entire elf village? Was this the thought that Freerun was having a few episodes ago? That the last time she saw an elf was 400 years ago? Yokozano Bazarte, Maogun, the Shogun, the Story. 
Is this when they first met? Oh, her mana reserve is insane. Oh, wow. Crazy how we're seeing their literal mana reserves and she's saying that about Flame. Just a feeling, intuition. Damn, a whole elf village is gone. That's crazy. Stronger than basalt? Who in the hell is this? Like a demon would. Ridiculous sense of pride. I love how they summon their staffs, though. That was their order? Kill all the elves? Oh, damn. I love the sense of pride she was talking about that comes with being a mage. Just a shock wave going through the fields. What the f just happened? Oh my lord. Their overconfidence cost them their lives. It's like the ultimate bluff. So earlier what we... Oh, wow. That makes much more sense. And obviously Freerun would teach that to Fern. That's why Lugner is calling her a disgrace to all mages. Because mages have this inherent pride that you want to show how much you have, knowing that your opponent's either stronger or weaker than you. But doing that is a form of deception but when you're fighting demons i fully agree i love that how it's passed down to fern how we're now like that's super dope i like that take on that dishonor to bear the responsibility one tenth of its normal volume wow Kwame impresses me more and more every flashback I see of her. Always, I assume. For life. I love that. So, now cutting back to Aura vs. Free Rin. Aura thinks... Freerun's mana is one-tenth of what it actually is. Oh, this is... If she uses the scales... Over for Aura. Interesting. Interesting. Hers is insane, I won't lie. It's fairly long lived for a demon. Fairly long lived. I love the deductions from Freerun right now. What sort of transition? は個人主義の世界と言っても人類と戦うための最低限の組織的なつながりを持っている人の場合は例えばこの国の連中は地位や財産で偉い奴だ。強さってのは見ればわかる。魔力だね。奴らにとっての魔力は 
True. Everything they work for, their pride. That's a that's a really good analogy to put it. Especially in the world of demons, like you wouldn't do that because that is your status and wealth comparatively to other demons, you know. That's crazy. I love that. That's the pride and arrogance she was talking about. I like that. Mames. Mm, I'm enjoying this so much. Mames looking older. How long has it been now? 50 years. Wow. Fama is just a normal human mage. And another 950 years later, she does. Or like 870. Around, you know, whatever. My mask be a little off. Mm. That brings me back to episode 3 or 4 when she did it for Himmel's statue and when she did it in front of them, you know? Oh, that's nice. Live in obscurity. Dedicate yourself to your craft. Don't try to make a... That is her grave, and that is a field of flowers around it. Man, Flame is such a cool... Don't say from mommy to mummy. She's such a cool master. And she's doing exactly what she was told. Living in obscurity, training, diligently working, fighting hard. For hundreds of years. Made herself a nice little cabin in the woods to study. As we see towns, villages, countries be created in these areas, you know. I like the way they animate mana and how it flows. Is this when she first meets the party? Oh, wow. Is roughly one fifth of my man. A little do you know, my man. A little do you know. <laughs> Emil can tell. Just a feeling. Same thing Freerun said to Flame. Just a feeling. I, oh, I want to see that again, man. As we get the littlest cuts of everything they've done. So we cut back to the present time. Her soul is about to be judged. Oh, I even love how they show the souls. Demon soul looks so dark and demented. One's just going to hopelessly outclass the other. Well, the way you're doing is exactly what Freeman wanted. <laughs> All the flashbacks lead to stuff like this perfectly. They do flashbacks in this show amazingly. As a disgrace to all mages, we hold this dishonor in order to eradicate the demon race. That's because she's honed that craft for so long. This state has become natural for me. Silly aura. 
in order to beat demons' asses like you. Oh my god. Her mana envelops this whole area. This is the first time she's let loose in probably so long, and it's over. The music is so beautiful. As we see the POV, POV of her head falling to the ground. That was so well done, man. Freerun the Savage. I wholeheartedly completely understand why people hype up the show and are saying, singing all of its praises, literally, when it comes to character designs, character development, animation, the soundtrack, the use of flashbacks. I know I've said it like 10 times in this episode, but it, it they're placed perfectly, whether it's Aizen and Starks, whether it's Fern to Freerun, whether it's Freerun to Flame, like everything it feels like is so well paced and so well written that it all has a purpose, a purpose. There's not a moment of wasted time. That was so badass to go from last episode Star Confirmed to this and everything that Oh my lord, bro. Freerun Freerun might be up there in my main character level so far right now. I really enjoy her. I really enjoy the complexity and how it even cuts to Himmel and everything. Like, oh my god. We're cutting in this amazing episode, these amazing reviews with a five gifted sub from Lasher. Everyone give some love and a huge W in chat for this man. These episodes are incredible. Like, I'm genuinely, and it's, it's re super rare to say this, genuinely every aspect of this show is exceptional. Like, there's not a single portion of this that's lacking. Oh my lord. I, yeah, yeah. I cannot wait to get caught up on this show so I can watch it live weekly with you guys because this show has been blowing me away. I don't even know what else to say. Just know that I'm thoroughly impressed at the highest level you can think of. From One Piece I'm watching right now, to this, to Classroom of the Elite, to starting Bleach soon, to solo leveling. Like, as an anime fan, I am just, I love my job. I must say it. We have our downsides and our upsides, but I love you guys for the support. I love my job. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these episodes. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Huge love to the support over on the Twitch. Like I said, come on over. We're live. The vibes are immaculate. Check out the Patreon for the full-length versions. Drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Don't forget to suppress your mana out there. Those demons. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.